I, you may have to go to YouTube to find the little fluke there. Uh, I'm not going to put it into the podcast. I'll try to hash the, the stuff in again, but uh, just ran into trouble with audio while recording. Uh, and I found that Google has been messing with my microphone input. Um, so that's a problem. Uh, don't know if I'm gonna be able to make Google calls anymore. Trash bags. Messy. I mean, you know, seriously, who messes with microphone input? Yeah, I don't, I don't want this is, you know, most stupid idiots just use their computer and I want to make a phone call. And so I'm going to mess with the microphone. I get that. But, um, you could ask or have like a quick button there because the guys that actually use media and get lots and lots of views, uh, control that stuff and you don't want them giving a bad reference. So I, I don't know. Yeah, this is, there's so much half decent stuff out there and I just, I'm sick of it. I don't like half decent stuff. Um, so I had to start and redo the podcast and I don't, I, I mean, I, I just, I, I did, uh, the, the Pacific Day Times recordings and those might sound weird. It's all because of Google. Thanks Google. Um, no, like I use Google Hangouts and I talk to this guy in the morning and I'm actually starting a YouTube channel talking to a, a, a guy in Taiwan, uh, about whatever cultural questions, issues, stuff. And then also, uh, you know, just like editing and giving him tips on his, on his Chinese or his, his English uh, as he goes. So it's, it's an interesting, it's an interesting conversation, but uh, I'm using Google Hangouts to make the phone calls, the video calls. And uh, again, I think they're messing up with the technical stuff. So I just had a false start podcast and it, it you know, I just, I, I'm, I'm running around trying to figure out why is my volume so low? It's all that automatic nonsense. Okay, what a week. Hi, I'm Jesse Steele. I wear many hats and this is my weekly journey. Um, the, well, no, I mean, if you run into microphone problems, now you know why. It's whatever you're using to make video calls. Who knows? It could be Facebook. I mean, why, why don't they adjust the volume and then put it back when the app closes, you know? Um... All right. Okay. See, here I am whining and complaining about bad. Look, but it's project management stuff. You know, you know, why doesn't this app work? Why are websites loading so slow? Why do I have to pay my web developers so much money? It's because people do a bad job with their planning. They don't look at stuff and do a good job. And um, I'm getting all geeked about it. And this is the type of stuff that you get to hear me gripe and whine about during the podcast. Um, I've, you know, I've been thinking enough's enough already. I'm getting impatient with stuff. Um, and, and, and I, as I mentioned in the, in the, in the, the false start podcast, which you're gonna have to go to YouTube to find, um, it'll be right before this one, but I, like as, as much as I'm trying to be patient with people, I'm running out of time to be patient. I'm more patient than I have time to be patient for. And I'm learning that being patient hurts people because it lets them continue in bad behavior that should stop. And so I'm, I'm getting to a point where I'm asking, is this really about me, me, me needing to be the nice guy? Or is this about uh, other people who need help by me not putting up with different other people that are doing bad things to me? Like if, if someone does something bad to you, they're going to do something bad to someone else. If you put up with it to be a nice guy, you hurt other people by letting that bad person continue. So if you don't put up with it, that bad person might stop doing it to everyone. And so I, I just, you know, be patient, be nice, be kind, let people beat up everybody, including you. That's the nice thing. I, like there's, there's a value in patience and turning the other cheek. Turning the other cheek is not about losing. It's about using soft power. It's about optics. L like if someone just smacked you on the cheek and you turn the other cheek and someone ran and grabbed a photo of that quick, oh, uh, that is that is that is not the type of photograph that the opposition, the other side of the politics, uh, well, the people in favor of that, you know, would want. Like that's bad optics. That's really bad optics. Like uh, I don't know if you know this during the Martin Luther King time thing when he was famous and stuff, there were these riots or these these protests. And there was this black guy that was at one of the marches and the police had police dogs that were up on the guy and he leaned into the police dogs and it looks like the dogs are attacking him. And this photograph went on TV and it 
changed a lot of stuff. Like it really helped the Martin Luther King movement cause thing. And it was all because of optics. So turn the other cheek is about creating bad optics for the enemy by, by appearing to be more vulnerable than you are. So I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm dealing with a number of different things and I'm, 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 I, and I will be talking about that more in the Taiwan special because that's what it relates to. If, if you're watching this uh, on YouTube, you'll notice behind me is Taipei 101. I'm no longer using green screen. I'm now going to put up pictures from my phone and send stuff to uh, YouTube and see how it fares. So, hi everyone on YouTube. This is my weekly podcast. Um, in, in fact, you know what? I'm dissatisfied with how this podcast started. So, I'm going to set it up as another false start and I'm going to restart this podcast all over again where I introduce stuff properly. Okay, let's see. How do we do it? 